So, in this video, we're checking out a question that we get a lot on the radio show, which is what is the best camera phone currently on the market? Uh, and currently being like mid February 2014. So, that's what we're checking out uh, in this video. And I've got what I thought were the best three camera phones here. It's the only question we're going to check out because really, I can't do this in 30 seconds. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. So, without further ado, I've got the iPhone 5S. Uh, I've got the Nokia Lumia 1020 with its massive 42 megapixel camera and I've got the brand new Sony Z1 Compact which is an awesome device and more about that later. Uh, so I reckon if you're getting a camera phone at the moment these are your best three options. So you want to be going with one of these three uh, and to see which is the best, uh, the, I reckon the, the ultimate test is just taking pictures with them. And then I'm not going to say anything. You just look at the results. I couldn't say anything anyway because, to be honest, I haven't taken the pictures yet. But I'm going to. And then you can look at them and you can tell me which you think are the best. Uh, and at the end, I'll tell you what I think the all-round best camera phone is at the moment. So, to take a picture, I've got uh, a bowl. And I've got... Uh, a mango and a lemon and two grapes and a Lego monarchy. We'll use him for something just now. Right, first up, iPhone 5S, 8 megapixel camera. Now remember, everybody will tell you about the megapixels on their phone. This one's 42, this one's 8, the Sony's 20. It doesn't mean anything. There's so many factors that go into making a great camera. Um, and the hardware is just one of them. So yes, you want a good image sensor. Uh, you need a good lens as well. But arguably more important than that when we're talking about camera phones is the software. Uh, and at the moment, uh, Android kind of suffers in the software stakes, for example. So even though you've got fantastic hardware on a lot of the Android phones at the moment, it's let down by the software that's processing the images afterwards. Uh, Apple does a lot of great work with their hardware, uh, so you usually get great results from them. So let's start off with a 5S and our bowl of fruit. And that's a 5S. And then let's do the Sony. Also got a nice swipe across from the lock screen to get to the camera. Uh, so that's the Sony and then finally the monstrous Nokia Lumia uh, 1020 with its massive 42 megapixel camera uh, and that's the Nokia okay so you'll notice a flash went off with the Nokia and probably not with the other two that's because I'm using standard settings so everything's on auto if the camera thinks that it needs to flash then it will we're just taking stock standard everyday shots here uh, and they'll all three be on your screen right now. So again, uh, even if I wanted to say something about them, I couldn't because uh, I haven't seen them yet. But you can pretty much judge for yourself what the best one is. Now, the interesting thing is that you probably, I'm guessing, will have seen that those three images looked pretty comparable in terms of their quality. And that's because the light in here is okay. It's not fantastic. But it's okay and in good light you're gonna get pretty much equal results from just about any camera phone you're messing around with where things get interesting is when it's dark at night uh, and that's when Nokia's put a hell of a lot of work into the Lumia 1020 is for low light photography it also helps that they've got that massive 42 megapixel sensor the iPhone also does phenomenal work at night given Apple's attention to the software that's processing the images it's also got fantastic hardware and it's got that dual tone flash which is amazing for taking pictures of people then you've got Android which suffers a little bit in low light uh, but it is getting better all the time and Sony's done some great work on the Z1 Compact so I'm gonna take two pictures because you get two kinds of pictures that you generally take at night the one is of like a city scene or a street with lots of people or somewhere where there's a lot of light um, so I'm gonna take a picture of a view of suburbia uh, in Cape Town bring those three up on the screen uh, and you can take a look at them uh, and again I'll let you be the judge I'm not gonna say anything it might be because I haven't taken these pictures yet uh, but see what you think uh, next up We'll take Mr. Lego Monarchy uh, and we will take a picture of him in low light in a social setting, which is where most photographs happen. Now again, if you look at those three photographs, you can be the judge for yourself. Maybe because I haven't taken a photo yet. Of, um, of which camera did the best job? 
So that in a nutshell are the three best camera phones on the market at the moment. But they each have their own strengths. Uh, it's not a clear cut, this is the best camera phone. Uh, he says holding up the Sony, even though it clearly isn't. Um, it's really what you're into. So let's start off with the Nokia. Okay, massive 42 megapixel camera. You can do things as well that you can't do on the other two, like adjust the ISO settings and the shutter speed. Now, if you don't know what those things mean, then clearly you don't need to be able to do those things. Uh, so you probably won't give a crap. It also runs Windows Phone, which I'm trying hard to love, but it's pretty terrible. And a lot of the apps I love on Android and iPhone just aren't there yet. Uh, if you're willing to put up with those things and you want to get kind of pro with your camera photography, then maybe you want to think about the Lumia 1020. The Sony uh, Z1 Compact is one of my favorite phones on the market at the moment. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's a great size. Um, and yes, the camera is phenomenal. It's also available at a pretty good price. It is on the upper end. It's a bit expensive, um, but well worth the money. It's also everything proof, including water. So this is the camera for you if you want to take underwater selfie videos. You can't do that with the other two. Believe me, the Nokia and the iPhone will not go with you into the swimming pool. That's not where they are most comfortable. And then we have my favorite, and I must admit to the bias, the Apple iPhone 5S is the best camera phone on the market today, as far as I'm concerned, for kind of everyday photography. And the reason is Apple's just put more work into the camera than any of the other manufacturers. So Apple has spent a lot of time uh, on engineering the software that processes the images after you take a photograph. And that's critical to camera photography um, or rather to, uh, to phone camera photography. So, um, so if you're looking for the best all round camera in a phone, it has to be the iPhone 5S. Unfortunately, it's also the most expensive. So that's going to be a factor for a lot of people, but that's my opinion. And that is a summary of what I think are the best camera phones on the market at the moment. Again, if you like this video, please click on like or subscribe to the channel. Um, we'll carry on doing this for as long as we carry on getting likes. Um, and that's about it. You can follow me on Twitter as well if you've got more tech questions for me. Uh, and I'm sure we'll be back with another video.